Twin Motion or Enscape. Today, we finally settle the argument. 2024 brings us some incredible updates for both platforms, and Mac is finally catching up to Windows when it comes to rendering. So today, we're gonna explore Twin Motion and Enscape, put them to the test head to head, and see which one produces the best renders. Are we ready? Let's go. So now we have Twin Motion open on the one side and Enscape open on the other side. Both are direct imports directly out of ArchiCAD. So we have ArchiCAD open as well with the actual created scene of this kitchen. Now we're gonna start with Enscape because Enscape logs directly into ArchiCAD and you kind of have to have a split screen view. On Enscape, we have created our kitchen render. We have used nothing but the materials available to us in our material editor on ArchiCAD itself from the Enscape library. So with their latest update, their material library comes with a ton of amazing things. There's only three materials that I've changed in this scene. The wood floor, which is now wood 10 strip, the island bench itself, which is marble 05, and the backdrop cabinetry is wood 27. So the three main items in this scene, everything else is white plasterboard, nothing special. And I've also introduced two chairs from the Enscape object library. That directly into Enscape gives us a phenomenal result to start with. To be able to get quality like this, there really isn't too many settings that we've changed. In the main image quality, we've just bumped it up to ultra. We've adjusted some of the highlights and the shadows, mainly just to bring up some of those black undertones in this cabinetry. The atmosphere, haven't really touched it at all. The sky, we've left as the default generic sky. In Enscape, we haven't even added a HDRI. And of course, output 2000 by 2500, which is perfect for social media. We're exporting as a PNG to be able to get best quality out of this. And we're not really doing anything else. To be able to get something like this from ArchiCAD into Enscape takes less than 30 seconds of work. It really is not hard to get high quality images. Now, if we were to export this image, turn our save frames on to see exactly what we're getting, hit the export button and start the timer. And there we go, our final Enscape exported image. Let's put them side by side so we can compare. On the left, we have our exported image, which is crisp, clean, and actually phenomenal for about 30 to 45 seconds worth of work. On the right hand side, we have that live version. While this is running on a Mac Studio M1 Ultra for comparison's sake. So that took 30 seconds, did a phenomenal job. For me personally, Enscape to be able to get results like this in easily under five minutes of actual working time is a great starting point. Now let's move on to Twinmotion. If you're enjoying the content so far, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia and we're doing our absolute best to grow this channel as far as we possibly can this year. Right now, it stands at about 47,000 subscribers. That's 47,000 amazing people who have smashed that subscribe button down below. For 2024, I'd love to see it grow to over 100,000. Now, that's a ridiculously optimistic goal, but one I think that together we can reach. So please hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends, and let's reach that goal together. So of course, the Enscape image still on one side, Twin Motion on the other. They're both generically looking quite similar at this stage inside the program. Personally, inside the program, I think Twin Motion still has it beat, but we'll see what happens when we export. To be able to get Twin Motion to do this quality of export, there's a couple of things you need to change. First of all, multi GPU path tracing is activated. How much that changes at the current point in time, I think very little, but I've turned it on just in case. Sky Dome resolution, I've kept that on high for export. Grass fading, I've kept it on far. And otherwise, everything else is set to ultra on the computer so you can see the best quality. From a settings perspective, the environment has changed, the global lighting has changed, the exposure has changed, almost everything has changed to match what Enscape is able to bring in by default. So I did have to spend a couple minutes adjusting the sky domes, changing the rotation the intensity, messing with the actual ambient lighting, the white balance, just to kind of get it close. The camera has been set to 31 millimeters, which is the equivalent of Enscape. If we go in here, you'll see field of view is 60 degrees, which is approximately the same as 31 millimeters in a camera length. So our exposures are exactly the same. Vignetting, I'll adjust to zero just to get rid of some of that vignetting. You can actually see it on Enscape, 
But personally, I don't like the vignetting, so I've just dropped that off. Parallelism has been turned on. Render, of course, lumen settings activated and some of the shadows adjusted so we get some nice feathering and tapering like we have over here on Enscape. Effects, nothing much, 55 contrast, 45% saturation and our image settings are exactly the same. So at this point in time, I'm ready to hit the export button once again. Set it to PNG so we have the same file format export and start this timer. And there we go, we were able to export Twin Motion's image significantly faster compared to that of Enscape. So verdict, your Twin Motion export is gonna take less time to export. However, it will take more time to create. Looking at these images side by side, personally, I think they look great. Enscape on the one side, for the amount of effort we put into this render, I think that looks really, really good. On the other hand, the twin motion render actually has a little bit more life, a little bit more depth, a little bit more character. It looks like it could be a real photo. However, I'm sure if I was to spend a little bit more time in Enscape and compare that equally with a little bit more time in twin motion, we might be able to bring these renders out to a much higher standard. Let me know down below what you guys think.